Hi, this is Kivern2, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Olaf charm from Frozen. This is what he looks like. Um, his nose is actually sticking out, and he's saying hi. So first I'm going to tell you exactly what you need. You will need your rain balloon, a strong metal hook, not a plastic hook, and you will need 95 white bands, 5 orange, 16 brown, and 2 black. Get all your supplies and get ready! We will start off with our loom with the arrow pointing towards us. And we are going to be going from here down. So remember, we're starting out with the arrow pointing towards us. We are, we are going to start with one white band, place it from the top pe center peg to one below. That is going to be our slip knot. Now for the rest of the Olaf, you are going to need to use two bands at a time. First, we are going to go from the center, from the center where we put that white band to the right, I mean left, sorry, left. Then we are going to do it to the right. And on each side, we are going to go down from the side where we place the bands. We're going to put them downwards, and on each side, we are going to do it down four times. Do not do the middle yet. So we should have your white bands down one, two, three, four times. Now we're going to do the middle. I went ahead. One, two, three, four, five times down the middle. Not four, five times down the middle. After you've gone five times down the middle, this should be one in front of your side. Now we are going to close it off by taking two white bands. We're going to place them from this side to the center and do the same on the other side, from the side to the center. Now this is what your thing this is what your um Olaf should look like. You should have five times down the middle and four times down the side. So after you've finished with the head, we're gonna press that down right there. We're gonna take two more white bands and we're gonna go directly from the bottom of the head to the left. We're not gonna make a neck. So right to the left. Now press that down. Now we're gonna go to the right. Now we're gonna go down with our bands one from the from the right side one two times and then curve in and then do the exact same thing on the left going down two times and then curving in and fill in the middle and stop right there. So that's done. That's done. So this is what I've done. I have went straight from here to the left and gone on twice. Same on the other side and curved in right there. And then I filled in with the middle with three going down three times. One, two, three. And now we're ready to do the other step. So two more bands go directly from the bottom of this one to the right and then to the left. And do the exact same thing that we did on here. You're going to go down twice on the sides, curving in, and then fill in the middle. Once you have finished doing the exact same thing on the other side, it is now time to make the legs. You should have one more spot open. So we're going to take up that last spot by going from the side down one, creating one of the legs. So it looks like it should be going down a line like that. And the exact same thing on the other side. Now we're going to place capping bands on both of those sides. So let me hold this up. We're going to wrap it around three times. One, two, three. And do the same thing on the other side. 
piece of capping band. All right. After you have done that, we should have capping bands on those two pegs. Now we're going to place triangle bands from the legs up like this. So you should have a triangle band right there. Um, not an upside down triangle band, right side up. And we're going to place two triangle bands right here. Actually, never mind. So there should be two triangle bands on this section of your Olaf. And we're going to leave that. And right for this part, you will not le need your loom. So we'll set that aside. You will only need your, oh, your hook and a couple of bands. So we're going to start off by making the nose. So you'll need five orange bands for this part. We're going to take our hook. We're going to take one orange band and wrap it around like this. One, two, three times. And you should see four loops. Now we are going to place it on two orange rubber bands. So we're going to put those on our hook like that. And we're going to transfer those orange bands up. I definitely, just letting you know, I definitely say that this Olaf would be an advanced level of loomers. So after you've done that, loop it on your hook like this. Here, let me show you. After you've done that, take it, loop it on your hook like this. Now we're going to take two more orange bands. Okay, and loop it on. Loop the whole entire thing on like that. This may be a little more than five bands, just letting you know. All right, so it should look like this. And uh, now we're going to loop, now we're going to take one white band and loop everything onto that white band. So loop it all on there, and it should all look like this. Now, we're going to take our loom once more. Now we're going to need the top of the loom. We'll get this really, really close to you. All right, so we're going to count down from the side. One, two, two pegs down. One, two. So on the second peg from the top, get that up. So put one on here, one on here. And make sure your nose is right in the middle. So it should be on the second peg. One, two, right there. Make sure your nose is once again in the middle. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry, take, take your nose off. That's where the eyes go. Sorry, we're going to put them one, two on the third peg. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I was thinking eyes. So it should be on your th third peg down. One, two, three. And I told you this, but make sure it's in the middle. Make sure it's sticking up like that. Now we're going to make the eyes, which is a bit the same as the, um, the nose. But we're going to use our two black bands. So one black band, loop it three times. So one, two, three. And you should see, actually, two times. So you should see three things. Three rings, sorry. All right. So spread them apart just a little bit like that. And we're going to transfer them on one white band. So transfer that on. Make sure they're separated. And now we'll put them on the loom. This is where we put the two pegs down. So just one peg above the nose. Once again, make sure they're spread out. Like that. So one peg above the nose. Actually, let me take this off. Um, my bands are um, not as thick. So I need to do root them four times. It's too loose for my bands. So I'm going to do that again. So I finished that, and I've placed them right above. Um, three times is too loose for my black band, so I had to loop them four times. You are welcome to do that, too. And so now we are ready to make the arms. 
which um, you will need your mini loom. And if you do not have a mini loom, follow these instructions. You're going to go to your top of the loom. You're going to pick up this, um, this top band right here, the single top band, and take it off like that so it's just like hanging down there. And you're going to do exactly what we say, but except on the loom. Let me show you on the loom one time. And let me get this down lower for you so you can see better. Alright, so actually, sorry, don't follow those instructions. Don't take them off. Leave that on, actually. Leave that part on. So we're going to, if you do not have a mini loom, you're going to um, use these two pegs. We're going to take, you can also do this on the mini loom if you have one. Take one brown band. We're going to, one brown band, we're going to double it. And we're going to place it on the loom, like this, except we're going to twist it like that. So basically we're going to be making a mini fishtail. Then take another um, brown band. And for the arms we're just going to be doubling our bands. Place it on without twisting it. And now we're going to hook. We're not going to put two bands on because that would be too much. So we're going to go to the bottom. Loop that up. And to the other bottom. Loop that up. And here's what we're going to do. We've just used two bands. So for each arm, we're going to use eight bands. So make sure you use eight bands on each arm. After you've finished making your arm, it should look like this. I already took mine off. Like a mini fish tail. You can't really see that. Okay. So anyway... You should have you should have used eight bands on this arm. Let me stretch it out so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna place it right here where the first um the first section after the head. So right at the top where you think that a shoulder should be, or an arm. So we're gonna place that on there. Like that. And that's going to be like that. And now you're going to do the exact same thing either on your loom or on your mini loom. So use eight bands and make another arm and place it in, in the exact same place except right across from it. Once you've finished that one, place it in the exact same pl place. Right across from it. Like that. Oh. There you go. And make sure you push those down really far. Like, push them down. Alright. Now we are going to set triangle bands, sorry, on these. So we're going to set them, set one right there at the end of it. And do not set one in the middle. Set one directly at the top. So we're leaving no triangle band in the middle. Now go up to the face. We're going to set a triangle band just right under the nose. Right under the nose. And right over the eyes. So make sure you push those eyes down. So right under the nose and right over over the eyes. So the eyes should be inside that triangle band. Alright, now we are ready to hook. I'm going to tell you the instructions. So this is what we are going to do. Go to the bottom of your loom. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this camera on the floor so you can see. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go underneath that capping band. Oh, you cannot see. I am sorry about that. So we're going to go. 
we're going to go underneath that capping band and pick up those two bands and loop them up. Now, this is very important that you do not go ahead. So, do the same on the other side. Now, here's what we're going to do. Do not go any farther up the limb. Stay right there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to place one white capping band, but double it. Don't triple it. Double it. In directly right here on the center. So you just place the capping band right there. Now we're going to go underneath that capping band and pick up the first top, the top two bands, which should loop up to the center. Now we're going to go back under there, pick up the next two top bands, which should go to one of the sides. Sorry about that. Now we'll pick up the last band and loop them to the other side. Now I'm going to show you one more step. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go underneath all those bands, pick up the last two bands, loop them up, and do the same on the other side. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, loop just like a triple single, go underneath the triangle bands. Make sure you go underneath the triangle bands. And do not do these um, two these two side bands right Oh, you cannot see these two side bands right here. So do keep hooking like regular um, triple single, but do not do these ones. So we've hooked them, but we haven't done those side bands right here. So we're going to go ahead and do those. And we're going to loop it to the center. Oh. Now we're going to do that again. Go under here, pick up those two bands. Loop them to the center. Now we're going to push that down. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go underneath here, pick up the top two bands, loop them up. I'm going to show you that. So we're going to go under here, pick up those, the top two bands, which should lead to the center. Oh, I got one that didn't belong to the center. That's okay. Whoa. Well, my lube is going crazy. Sorry about this, guys. So, I'm going to loop that one up. Um, keep going. Go underneath here. I'll just be a second. So, this is what I've done. I've gone under there and looped them to the middle, to up to this and to the sides. Now, you're going to loop the exact same way you looped down at the bottom, but save um, these two um, bands for last. So you shouldn't have looped these ones. This, these ones are a little bit hard. We have, we have to make sure we go under the triangle band and under the arms and grab those. So make sure you go under the triangle band and your arms. You've gone under the arms. Make sure you go under the arms. That's very, very important. Under, under the arms. I cannot get that. Got one of them. No, I just need to get the other. Alright, so I've done that. We just looped those. Now we're going to get ready to loop the face. It's going Again, it's going to be like this. We're going to go under here, pick up the top two bands, 
which should be these right bands right here, and then the left bands, and then the middle bands. If I'm correct. But whatever way, but this might be before the middle bands, or the middle bands might be before this one. All I know is this one will be first. And then you're going to go underneath the triangle band here. Make sure you go underneath the nose band there, underneath the triangle band and the eyes, and loop up there. Save these two, save those two for last. Now, I told you something wrong. When you get up to the nose, in the middle, you're going to loop up perfectly normal, make a big loop, and put them up. Yes, the nose will be crushed, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. You're going to pull it out right through the middle of that band. So it'll be right in the middle of there. Make sure it's sticking out like that. And continue on. You're going to go underneath that band. Oh. Okay. Now this is very hard. Go under the eye band and the triangle band. Make sure you don't get any of those. Now again about the nose part, you're going to go, when you're looping up from the nose, you're going to go like this, pull the nose back, and continue looping. So pull the nose back and get Make sure those black band this goes in this band goes in the middle of those black eye bands. And we're almost done with our Olaf. So loop that last middle band up to the top. Make sure you push that top down. Go in here, pick those up, loop them to the side. In here, pick those up, loop them to the side, and now we're going to create our slip knot. So create your slip knot, go inside all those bands, and I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do a slip knot. Alright, I'm going to do my slip knot. Alright, just for the people who might not know how to do a slip knot, you're going to loop that... Oh, Loop that last band up. You're not going to go inside and grab it. You're going to go to the outside. Grab that bottom band. Bring it at the top and drop it. And you're going to pick this up with your hook and pull it tight. Now you're going to take your Olaf off from the bottom. Being very careful what you do. Because you might have you might break a band. After you've taken off your Olaf, I hope he looks like mine. Your nose should be sticking out like that. And you have your cute little Olaf there. His arms and his little piece of hair. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Please subscribe.